everyone, Kate here, and today I will be showing you how to turn a loose powder into a 1920s style powder cake. Now please note I said powder cake, not pressed powder. There is a difference between these two products, both in terms of formulation and usage. I'll talk more about this later on in the video, but first, here is the recipe. We're going to begin by weighing how much powder that we want to press. You can use more or less depending on what you plan on pressing this powder into. I used exactly 7 grams of powder, which was enough to fill about a fairly standard size compact. Next comes the math part. You're going to take your measurement, as I said in my case that was 7 grams, and multiply this by 0 0.06. This is going to be your lower limit. Next, take that same 7 grams again, and this time multiply it by 0 0.8. This gives an upper limit. When you're weighing out your gum arabic, you want it to be between these two measurements. It's quite difficult to be really precise as you're working with tiny, tiny amounts of powder, but try to get the weight of the gum arabic between these two measurements. For me, this was between 0.42 grams and 0.56 grams. Add the powder and the gum to the mortar and pestle. We're then going to start adding tiny amounts of the water. I used an eyedropper to control exactly how much I was adding. You want to grind this mix until you form a stiff, doughy mass. It's better to start with too little water and then only add more as you need because you don't want this to be sloppy, you're really looking to form a dough. Once you reach this dough consistency, you're going to take the mix and press it into your compact. Then let it dry. It usually takes at least a day or two, depending on the size of your compact and how much water you added. Now when this product was finished drying, I was at first rather disappointed, as I had misread the original article and thought I was supposed to be making a press powder. No matter what I did, I couldn't get any of the product to pick up on a brush or even on my fingers. When I went back to the original article to see if I had made a mistake, I realized the book specifies this method was for creating powder cakes. The difference between a pressed powder and a powder cake is that, much like cake mascara, a powder cake is a water-activated product. You do not apply it dry with a brush, as you would with a pressed powder, but rather with a damp sponge or flannel. Here's 
Here is a comparison between the loose form of the powder and the powder cake. I found with this particular cake, it was helpful to first add a tiny amount of water directly to the cake and then use a damp sponge or cloth for application. The benefit of using a cake rather than a loose powder is that you get a lighter, more natural application of product that can still help blur imperfections and control shine, but it doesn't have that same powdery look and when applied right is seamless. I realize you can't really tell the difference between the two on camera, especially as this is a fairly sheer powder, but there is a difference in person. Well, as always, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye! This video is made possible through the generous support of my Patreon members. Thank you. Somebody supervising. Human, you helping? You're wrinkly? Mm. Be ironed?